In this video, I will demonstrate deploying an SCV3000 series array with SAS I.O. cards. Launch the Dell Storage Manager client. Click on Discover and Configure Uninitialized Storage Centers. Review the required information. It is recommended to collect all of this information before continuing. The client will discover uninitialized systems on the network. If you have multiple uninitialized storage centers, use a service tag to find and select the storage center you would like to deploy. If the storage center is not discovered, the deployment guide has additional methods to deploy the storage center that bypasses the discovery on your network. All fields are required except the secondary DNS server. Storage Center requires three static IP addresses for management. Enter all information and click Next when finished. Provide a new password and email address for the admin account and click Next. Review the summary page. It is recommended to use the Copy to Clipboard feature and save the configuration to a file. Click Apply Configuration to continue. Once the initialization is complete, click Next to continue. On the Create Storage Type page, make the necessary adjustments and click Next. It is recommended to use the default settings unless there are specific reasons to change. The Fault Tolerant page will display available front end protocols. You must select at least one protocol to continue. If the system supports both SAS and iSCSI, it is recommended to select both protocols to take advantage of the deployment wizard. This video is for SAS only. Clicking Next will take you to a cabling review screen if any ports are not connected. A SAS fault domain is identified by corresponding port pairs. In this demo, we'll be connecting three servers. Each server HBA is cabled to its own fault domain. Scroll down to verify which ports are cabled or not. If an HBA is only cabled to one of the ports in its fault domain, you must correct the cabling before continuing. Click Next to continue. The SAS Review Fault Domain page is displayed. Click Next to continue. Provide the NTP parameters and click Next. It is strongly recommended to configure SMTP in order to receive alerts directly from the array. The field titled SMTP Mail Server is the only required field. All other fields are optional. It is recommended to accept a license agreement for the Support Assist System State Collection. Accepting this enables proactive service requests automatic case creation, remote storage center upgrades, proactive notifications from technical support, and health checks. Provide the contact information. Without this information, tech support cannot proactively contact you when an issue arises.
After clicking Next, the system will automatically check for Storage Center updates. If the update fails, it is typically the proxy needs to be configured for your environment or the proxy ports need to be opened. If an update is available, it will be installed when clicking Next. Click Next to continue. This concludes the array's initial setup. Click Finish to open the DSM client. Verify there are no red X's in the alert section. It is recommended to leave the system in pre-production mode until the entire deployment is completed, including attaching host or setting up replication to prevent inadvertent cases from being created with tech support. After the system is switched from pre-production mode to normal mode, the user should use maintenance mode when performing maintenance to avoid creating cases with tech support. To enter and exit out of maintenance mode, click on Edit Settings. In the General tab is the option to change the operation mode. Next steps will be to add host and create volumes.